Is citrulline busted as a pump ingredient? This study compared 3D pump breakthrough and citrulline. 3D pump breakthrough is a six gram blend of three ingredients. Three grams citrulline, 1.2 grams of glycerol, and 165 milligrams of amla fruit extract. Now that was compared against eight full grams of pure L-citrulline. 29 participants were in a crossover trial with pre and post training, urine, and blood draws. There was a washout period with no supplementation and obviously a crossover of both supplements. So here's how citrulline and 3D pump breakthrough matched up together. The first metric was limb circumference. How much do their limbs grow on their thighs and their arms? And it was a tie, meaning with less powder, they got more out of the 3D pump breakthrough. In markers of hydration, extracellular fluid, and total water, 3D pump breakthrough hydrated participants better with less powder. In inflammation and muscle damage, they both tied. Perceived muscle pump, focus, energy, and recovery, they all tied. The big win here, which I really think is important, is that we saw fewer adverse reactions with 3D pump breakthrough. Now, I don't actually think that citrulline is busted. Obviously, citrulline is even included in 3D pump breakthrough, so we're making a case for it working. But I do think that this shows that mixing citrulline with other ingredients may be a better idea than going crazy on citrulline doses in your pre-workout. I've been an advocate of not just pumping up the dosage, but looking at other pathways and other ingredients to improve your pre-workout experience. And I think this just gives us one more data point to look at when we're comparing labels and formulating in the future.